What eventually became the Hope Diamond was first created around 100 miles below the surface of the Earth in a layer called the Upper Mantle. Like every other diamond, it began life as a cluster of carbon atoms. Under extreme pressure and heat, the atoms formed into the rigid crystal structure of diamond. But to get to the surface, a diamond has to survive a perilous journey. The diamond is a passenger. We've got molten magma that's now pushing, erupting towards the surface of the Earth. It carries the diamond with it. Now this eruption is so violent, it gets to the surface of the Earth in a matter of a few hours. These diamonds are traveling at 30, 40 miles per hour. The diamond could have been destroyed during this. If the diamond traveled too slowly to the surface, it would change from diamond to graphite. Again, the diamond would be destroyed. You know, maybe one in a million, one in a billion diamonds that are down in there actually make it to the surface. After the diamond crystal survived its journey to the surface, the molten rock cooled and solidified, entombing the diamond. Over millions of years, the molten volcanic rock eroded, releasing the diamond to be washed along rivers in the subcontinent of India, finally coming to rest in gravel deposits. And that was where, in the mid-17th century, human eyes first gazed upon the largest deep blue diamond the world has ever seen. 